This is the weather radar template at SharePoint-Dashboards.com. This template allows you to show images from the National Weather Service for the United States, and it can show either a looping image or you can do a static image. In order to use this template, you simply need a choice field in your SharePoint list. I've set up my SharePoint list and I just named my field radar. You do need to use set values for this list. If you go to the notes section, you'll find a link to access the list of locations. So click on that link and just select all of that. You can hit control A and copy that because you're going to paste it in when you create your field. So when you go to create your field, just go to your list settings and you're going to create a choice column with the options from there. So make sure you select choice and then you're simply going to copy and paste those values in like so. I've already done that so I'm going to skip that step. I go back to my list and this will just give you that simple drop down option. So if I go into my list um, you'll see those options and I can just pick from any of those options. There's quite a few. There are some regional options and then followed by that it's alphabetical by states. So I'll just go ahead and pick one from there. And now I can go back to get my template. So in order to use this template, I just need to make some selections. I'm going to decide whether to use the looping radar um, or I can actually do static if I just want to see the latest radar. And then I can make options to decide whether I want to show the link in the bottom or the label or any of that other information. As with all the templates, you should definitely check out the different theme options. Um, they just give you some different options for the look and feel. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the theme one default. And I'm just going to select copy template and then follow the instructions in the box and then click OK. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and go back over to your site, go to the column header, then go to column settings, format this column, and then do advanced mode, and then you can paste in your code. And there you have it. There is the weather radar showing up. This is going to be real-time weather radar. If you instead want to go for just a static image, maybe do something a little bit smaller, of course you can pick one of the other options. So if I pick this one, you'll notice it's a little bit uh, smaller and it's a static image. Also, it omits the uh, link to the National Weather Service if you don't need to include that. So I can just try that instead. I'm going to copy the template, go back to SharePoint, and paste in to replace my code. And there we've got the radar, uh, which is just uh, a different version. It's a static image. Now what you can do at this point is go ahead and create a page and use the list view web part and then just hide the header information. So all you're going to want is just that single column. And then you can filter your list and that way you can use it on landing pages and th things like that. So this is a nice way to show weather radar information. There is another weather template for weather forecast information. So there are actually two templates available on the SharePoint dashboard site. If you have not yet used SharePoint dashboards, you can get a free sign up for 20 free templates uh, by just going to the site. And this template is part of the subscription package, which includes a total of 120 plus SharePoint templates with all kinds of different options to make your SharePoint site look great. Hope you like this and I hope you are able to get the current radar, weather radar, embedded on your SharePoint site to share with your users um, and to improve appearance on landing pages, things like that. Good luck.